I'm going to make some uh, chicken breast nuggets. Uh, what I'm going to do is I have a chicken breast, actually half a chicken breast here. I'm going to cut it lengthwise and then I'm going to cube it uh, into no bigger than one inch by one inch pieces. I have a bowl here of unbleached flour that's been mixed in with cayenne pepper. Uh, be careful, this, uh, you don't put too much cayenne pepper, which I did. Uh, I managed to um, add in a little bit, more, little bit more white flour to sort of thin it out. But all this is basically is unbleached white flour with cayenne pepper thrown in for taste. What I'm going to do is, as I said, I'm going to cut up the chicken breast into cubes. I'm going to put uh, four or five of the cubes in this small uh, sandwich bag along with a couple tablespoons of um, the flour and the cayenne pepper and I'm going to shake it like shake and bake. And then eventually I'm going to end up putting it into a frying pan of very hot oil. Uh, and then I'm going to cook each chicken nugget, chicken breast nugget, I'm going to cook it on, uh, on each side for at least two minutes, for at most three minutes. This will cook up very fast, it's very quick, it's very cheap, this is going to taste great, and you'll be you'll you'll surprise people at how quickly you can actually whip this up. So again, this is going to be chicken breast nuggets, breaded in flour and cayenne pepper, uh, and then fried in olive oil. I, I'm going to put it. I'm going to I'm going to um, have the nuggets waiting. I'm going to raise the temperature in the frying pan uh, so that it's very hot. Be very careful uh, that um, you don't get water in the oil. It'll splatter. It'll get in your eyes. It'll burn your your, your skin, etc. You got to be very careful with hot oil. But basically, it'll be cooking in the hot oil for at least two minutes, at most three on each side, and then it'll be put on a plate to rest, and you're done. This is very simple. First things first is to cut up the chicken breast. Chicken breast has been cut lengthwise. Now I'm going to cut it uh, perpendicular and get cubes. Took me about 30 seconds tops. There's your cubes right there. And they're wet. They're still a little bit wet from when I rinsed the um, the uh, chicken breast earlier. Um, if you want, you can rinse them again, and only for the purpose of having this uh, uh, grab on the flour and the cayenne pepper. Uh, you probably don't have to, but you could. Not don't leave a lot of water there; just enough to moisten the outside. And then these will go into that plastic bag, along with the uh, cayenne pepper and the flour. I put four pieces in the uh, bag with a couple of tablespoons of the flour and cayenne pepper and then shook. Shake, shake, shake for about 30 seconds. Now I'm going to put these on a plate. You can use tongs. Uh, I use a couple of forks. I probably should be using a bigger plastic bag, but no biggie. The idea is to get the chicken nugget pieces coated with the flour and the cayenne pepper. There you have the pieces, the chicken breast pieces. They've been breaded in the unbleached flour and the cayenne pepper. And now it's simply a matter of getting the oil in the frying pan to heat up. Uh, you'll see it start to bubble. Uh, and then you put it in. You don't want to put the pieces in too early, uh, but then again you want to make sure that the oil doesn't start smoking and getting uh, dark. Oh, and one more thing. When you're done with a plastic bag, uh, even if you have any extra uh, flour and cayenne pepper left over, throw, it, throw any extra in the bag out. Uh, once you're done, you're done. Don't think you're going to save any uh, leftover uh, flour. And when, when, when you're done, you're done. This goes in the garbage. As the oil gets hotter, it starts to bubble up here, as you can see. Um, be very careful with hot oil. Uh, it's got a few more minutes to heat up. But then what I'll simply do is I'll use these two forks. Uh, you could use tongs if you have them. I'll use two forks to deposit a a chicken breast nugget one at a time in the oil and then I'm going to cover it up for two minutes. Okay, the chicken nuggets are in and I'm going to cover this up for two minutes. In two minutes. Now, as you can see here, you see this white stuff here on the chicken nuggets? That's uh, the protein that's pushing out. It's just, just cooking. So I'm going to take my fork and I'm going to flip these pieces over and let it cook for a couple more minutes. This is, this is exactly what you want to see. I just turned them over. This is what it looks like.
Now it's going to lower the temperature just a little bit. You don't want to burn the oil. I just took them out of the frying pan. Uh, they're still very, very hot and they're still cooking, believe it or not. Because of the heat that they were subjected to in the hot oil, they, they still have a lot of that heat in them. So it's best to let this cool for about five more minutes, for about five minutes. Um, and you're done, really. I mean, it was no, no less than two minutes on the side, no more than three. The cardinal sin in cooking, especially in cooking meat, is overcooking your food, using too high of a heat. It's the reason why people bitch and moan at Thanksgiving that their turkeys are too dry. Because people are, people are cooking them for too, too high of a heat for too long. But this, is, this, is, this is it. I, I, I fried these in olive oil in a frying pan. Two minutes on one side. Flipped them over. A couple minutes on the other. No, more, no less than two minutes on the side. No, no more than three and you're done. If you go more than three, you're going to burn it to a crisp. It'll be dry. It won't be, it won't be palatable. Anything less than two minutes, and you're you're not cooking it long enough to uh, make sure that it's been cooked properly. Uh, be very careful with hot oil. You can do the same thing with chicken livers, uh, with the uh, with the caution that the chicken livers, for some reason, they tend to carry a lot more water, and they will tend to spatter uh, a bit more readily than chicken breast will. So you have to be very careful, preferably wearing a long sleeve shirt when you're dealing with uh, chicken livers in that kind of a scenario like I just showed you for the chicken breast nuggets. But uh, this is basically, it's done. And in a few minutes, we're gonna set this down on the plate and I'll cut one open for you. And you can take a look and see how it's done on the inside. I, uh, I just cut into um, one of the chicken nuggets. It's, um, it's perfect. It's been cooked perfectly. Perfectly, and it's moist and tender. Just right, just right, nothing wrong with it. And there you have it.